This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or your printer's control panel. Let's ensure that there is no paper or other obstruction blocking the carriage path. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the rear access door or duplexer. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door, or the duplexer, into the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the front access panel. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all the small pieces from inside the printer. Close the front access panel. Plug the power cord back in. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. The printer will reset itself. As it resets, you will hear the printer preparing to print again. It may take longer than it usually does to turn back on. Try printing a self-test page. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. Open the print cartridge door. Open the front access panel. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Check for any obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Gently push the carriage towards the center of the printer until you hear a click. Close the front access panel. Close the cartridge door. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power source might be the issue. Check the power source by first disconnecting the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet. And then plug it back into the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. 
Wait 60 seconds. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes, improperly inserting cartridges can cause a carriage jam. Let's make sure that the cartridges are properly inserted. To make sure the cartridges are in correctly, first press the power button to turn the printer on. Let the carriage settle into the dock, then gently press the cartridge down. The cartridge releases so you can remove it. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles. This can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Place the cartridge into the slot and gently but firmly push it until it pops into place. Now this part is very important. As you're inserting the cartridge, do not use the top of the printer for leverage. This can cause the carriage to lift out of position and damage the printer. Make sure that each cartridge is in the correct slot, tricolor on the left and black on the right. Load paper into the input tray. And then close the cartridge door. Try printing a self-test page again. Press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.